I am an energy worker bringing forward a 10-day forecast for the sign of Capricorn. So anyone with the sign of Capricorn strongly in their chart, this um, reading could resonate with them. Um, this is a general reading. It will not apply to everyone. It will not fit with everyone. It may only make sense for a few of you. Okay, Capricorn, we see you in this reading. You are here as a Queen of Pentacles. Um, you are starting off this reading in a place of real confusion with the Seven of Cups. You do have a sense of um, individuality. You do have independence. You do have um, s some sense of financial stability here. Um, you are... There is a feeling in this reading of being somewhat discontented about a situation that's occurring. It, it is, it has a potential or you are wondering if there's a potential for some kind of major unexpected change. There is something that's happening that's really confusing for you, Capricorn. It could have been that there was an unexpected change that came into your reality that now you're very confused by and you're not really sure how to move forward. But I think for most of you here that there is some kind of pending um, change. There's a pending change here. It's like it hasn't happened yet, but it's like you're, 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 you're thinking it's going to happen. You're expecting it to happen and you're being quite defensive about it. So something here has happened or you're having a sixth sense or, or um, there's something pending or something that is ongoing that could very well be a tower. I don't think it's happened yet, but you have a feeling it could. It is about some kind of a soul connection. And there is a potential here for some wish fulfillment. There has been some kind of gift extended forward or some kind of message extended forward. Some kind of something substantial has been extended forward that makes you Capricorn feel like that this could be something that could really build into something. But there is always a fear here of this tower. And, the, and there is some reason for this fear of this tower. I'm not sure what this reason is, but you're getting some kind of inkling or some kind of intuition that there could be a major upset here or a major change in your life that is revolving around um, a soulmate connection that was really your wishes being fulfilled here. And and it's really very um, positive in one way, very exciting and very positive in one way. In another way, there is worry here about losing some kind of independence. There's weird worry here about defending or protecting against unexpected change. There is a sense of suspicion here about the sincerity uh, of this offer that's coming forward. But it does look like within this 10 day period, Capricorn, that you do find a little bit of peace in this. You do find some, um, some balance in this situation. We have a lot of intellectual energy right here, a lot of thinking, a lot of analyzing. You could be thinking and overthinking and overthinking again about a situation. Um, there is some kind of peace that comes forward, something that happens that brings you um, a sense of quiet. It could be following this um, page of Pentacles, a message that comes forward, a real message, something you can see or read or touch in your hands, something tangible comes forward. Capricorn that brings a sense of peace to this experience um, and, and maybe now you're starting to wonder if the tower will happen maybe there's not a tower maybe this is you really um, really overcoming fear um, of, of, a, of a huge unknown that you feel could be coming into your life and and really overcoming the fear of change over the coming the fear of maybe a new vulnerable kind of a feeling we do see you at the end of this 10 day period, making a decision to move forward into some kind of new um, relationship or new experience. You are moving from the four of pentacles to the five of pentacles. And I love how this is shown here. So you have been for, for some time now in a place of um, financial survival, right? Whether it's financial survival or um, emotional survival, you have survived, right? 
you have survived. You have really recovered to a point where you are living um, in a somewhat stable way, but you aren't yet or you haven't yet really stepped forward to make that next step into a new level, right? You haven't taken risk for a while. You haven't um, experienced a new relationship for a while. There's something that you haven't done for a while because of something that happened in the past. All right, so this tower could have been from the past, but there's something here that happened in the past that could have kept you in a very stagnant place, in a very still place where you weren't really moving forward. You were just getting through life. You were paying your bills. You were doing the things that you needed to be, to do, that you needed to do. You were maintaining your status, right? You were maintaining it. You weren't slipping back. You were maintaining it. Right. But in order to move forward and engage in new experiences and new possibilities, we must step out into a more risky position. And it looks like you begin to do that here with the six of wands moving into the five of pentacles. So you do at the end of this 10 day period, Capricorn, decide, I feel, to take some kind of a risk and move towards a new experience in some way, knowing that this new experience could bring you some financial consequences or societal consequences something here that could potentially change this safe status that you've had for a long time. But still you realize that there is a new opportunity here, whether this is a lover that's coming forward or a new situation, a new job, something here is coming forward. Um, and, and you're writing into that situation, knowing that you're ready now for something more. You're ready now for the next experience. The wheel of fortune is here. That means something is really starting to get going now, whether that's an increase in your finances, because you do have the five of pentacles here, or it's in momentum now of a new relationship or a new experience. Something you're doing is moving the wheel of fortune and you're really moving on now to a different level, a new, different phase, a different experience with a whole new set of joys and a whole new set of lessons to be learned, right? So this is really overcoming what has happened to you in the past and allowing yourself to move into the future, knowing that there's going to be risk, that there could be heartache, there could be financial consequences. Whatever this is, you feel that there's enough tangibility here. There's enough promise. There's enough potential here that you're willing to ride forward, move forward into a situation that is an unknown situation. And really Capricorn, that is very important for someone like you who really value security. What I see here, Capricorn, is a lot of courage, strength, endurance, tenacity, um, willingness to take risks to accomplish a goal that might at one point have felt out of touch for you. Whatever this is in the next 10 days, um, there is an energy coming towards you that feels like it could be something that could be real, real and it could really improve your, your situation. Um, and you feel this energy coming towards you. And in the next 10 days, you really research it. You look at it. You give it a chance. You listen to it. And you decide to jump on board with it in some way. And you move forward into the Five of Pentacles energy, which is what you must move through if you're going to get to the Six of Pentacles, which is financial balance and financial um The Six of Pentacles, for me, financially, is being able to pay your bills being able to put a little money away and be able to give a little bit of money. That to me is what the six of pentacles refers to most of the time. It's about finance, financial balance. It's also about um, giving and receiving equally, not to be over giving, um, not to be under receiving, right? To be equal in how you give and how you receive. And this is part of the whole journey here is to be, is to be learning those kinds of things. All right, <clears throat> so let's dig deeper into some of these energies. All right, <coughs> excuse me, let's look at the Six of Swords. Why is the Six of Swords here? Spirit, why is the Six of Swords here, please? So there, the Three of Swords is here, the Eight of Wands, and Death. So we do have a situation where you have felt... Um, some confusion, some sadness, maybe even depression. Um, uh, still, it wasn't a strong place where you were. And there is something coming in now with the Eight of Wands or something coming in quite quickly that's going to change things up for you. It is because um, there is a major transformation here ahead for you. It is a good transformation. It is going to bring you a lot of happiness. But there is transformation here. Also, Scorpio energy as well. Let me look at the energies of this reading, Capricorn, before I forget. 
we have Gemini here, we have um, air signs, we have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, we have Capricorn or Virgo or Taurus, but I feel it's your energy, Capricorn energy. Um, and then we have Scorpio over here. So as far as energies, I feel like there is definitely fire energy. There's earth energy here. There's air energy. And there's water. So every, every energy is here. Every element is here. Why is a tower here? Why is a tower here? Why is a tower here? Yeah, something comes in where you have to make a choice. Capricorn, you're going to have to make a choice on which way you're going to move. There's a choice and the star energy. So um, there could be someone here that's coming in um, that is that is bringing some kind of a surprise. This is an Aquarius energy. It's also a healed, truthful energy. There could be coming, someone coming into your experience, could be an Aquarius, could be anyone who has gone through a major healing and an uprising in their life, a rising up in their life. Um, this person or this quality is bringing in, or you're feeling like this person could be bringing in a major change into your life, that where you're going to have to make a decision. You, you have that intuition, you have that 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 feeling that there could be major change here. And I don't know if you're necessarily liking the idea, Capricorn. I don't think you're really liking that idea. And that's why the Queen of Swords is, is here and the Page of Swords. But again, at the end of this 10 day period, you're finding um, peace with this and you are moving forward into something new here, into some risky situation which is what you need to do to move into the Six of Pentacles. The sun. Wow. So whatever change is here, it could be with a Leo energy. Whatever change is here, it's for the better. It is going to open up doorways for you. Even if you do have a tower coming in, even if there is unexpected change, Capricorn, what I'm seeing here is this is the perfect change. It is um, a change that is needed. It is change that's going to bring you um, abundance, your wishes coming true, positivity, joy, and happiness in life. It's going to bring healing. It's going to bring personal empowerment. It is going to bring a lot of new elements into your life, a lot of new beautiful conditions into your human experience. And um, it's just the fear of what's to come without knowing, without being, being able to see it. It makes Capricorn very uncomfortable and uneasy. But Capricorn, with cards like this, with energies like this, I really don't think that there's anything... Um, for you to worry about now being discerning um, for, for whoever's listening to this you have to be discerning if this is someone coming in that's not healthy for you then don't accept it just because this I don't know why I'm saying this but just because this scenario is here um, it doesn't mean that all offers or all people that come into to our lives are going to be um, helpful for us or um, positive for us so it's it's important to be discerning and to be careful about who we bring into our circles. And um, it looks like you're doing that here, which is which is beautiful. But if the tower does occur, it will be something that brings in a beautiful revision into your life that you're going to absolutely love and treasure in the future. And you're going to look back and think, you know what? I'm so happy that happened. I'm so happy that I allowed this change to come in because I just don't know how um, my life would be if I wouldn't have done that. Something like that. Some kind of... Something to that effect. Let's do a little fortune. Knight of Wands. So there's a fast incoming passionate 
change that's going to be coming into your life. Could be Sagittarius energy. But, but this incoming energy, this Sagittarius energy that's coming in will absolutely move the wheel of fortune. Whatever this, this energy is that you're like wary of that's coming in towards you, um, it's going to absolutely change your life. There could be an increase of financial wealth as well. Ace of Swords coming out. So this is the truth. This is the one. This is a significant relationship. This is something to take notice of. Um, it could be that this is a divine gift for you with the Ace of Swords. Holy cow and the Ace of Cups coming out. This is love. This is truth. This is the one. This is what you've been waiting for. Capricorn. All right, this is an offer of love coming in. It could be communicated to you. Somebody's maybe finally deciding to come in. It could have been that somebody was waiting around and has finally made the decision to come forward with an offer of love. And this offer is going to come passionately forward to you. It's, it will come passionately forward to you. So as Capricorn, as you write forward in the Six of Wands, here comes the Knight of Wands to meet you. And I feel like you won't stay in the Five of Pentacles energy very long. You're nervous about it because you don't know what's going to happen, but I don't think you'll stay there long because you have these amazing energies here, the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Swords and the Knight of Wands as well. Beautiful. Really beautiful. Really beautiful Capricorn. All right. Thank you so much, Capricorn.